Heart fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, the rematch you've all been waiting for. It's champion versus champion, 12 rounds of boxing for the unified bantamweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Saitama, Japan, it's prime time! <laughs> Introducing to you first, the WBC champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Entering the ring wearing blue trunks with orange trims. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Talibon Bohol in the Philippines. He weighed in at a ready 117 and three quarter pounds. In his remarkable 20 year career, he has an outstanding record of 42 wins, six losses, with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight in his 22nd world title appearance, ladies and gentlemen, here is the future Hall of Famer, the renowned five division world champion, and the current defending WBC Bantamweight champion of the world, introducing the Filipino Flash, Nonito His opponent across the ring, the WBA and IBF world champion fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with silver trim, fighting out of it representing his home of Zama Kanagawa, Japan. He weighed in at the bantamweight limit of 118 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a sensational record of 22 wins, no losses, 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making his 18th consecutive world title appearance. Here is one of the acclaimed and renowned stars of boxing and pound for pound greats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the three division world champion, the hard hitting, undefeated, reigning and defending WBA and IBF Bantamweight champion of the world, introducing Naoya Monster. Michael Griffin. You gentlemen have received my instructions in the dressing room. You know what we're here for. Remember to protect yourself at all times. I want you to touch gloves now, man. You're boxing at the bell. God bless you both. The wait is over. Two years and seven months after they first delivered a fight of the year performance. Nonito Doner and Naoya Inoue, two virtuosos in the ring, present Poetry of Violence. Round 13. Bernardo Osuna alongside Hall of Famer Andre Ward, and it's Doner coming out fast with the left hook. Both fighters said they needed to be better than they were the first time around. For Donaire, impossible to think that even though he fractured the right orbital bone of Inoue and his nose, nonetheless, he wasn't able to come away with the victory thanks to the courage and boxing skill of the hard-hitting Japanese monster. Already in this first 30 seconds, I see a Donaire who's swifter on his feet. He's fainting and he's looking like he wants to hide the power and not be so predictable. And I see the same in a way. Quick, fast, always thinking, looking for the big shot. Big difference here, the gloves that are being worn by both fighters. They're puncher's gloves. The first fight, they featured winning gloves. This time, the left hook of Inoue is in the Cleto Reyes horsehair puncher's glove. Nonito Donaire with the Everlast MX, a hybrid horsehair and foam glove made by Everlast. Both fighters have tasted the other's power. They respect the power, and neither fighter wants to make a mistake, especially early in this fight. The first attempt by Donaire to 
land that right hand, which hurt anyway on several occasions in the first fight and sometimes gets overlooked because of his beautiful left hook as Inoue is able to land a check hook here with a minute 15 seconds left in round one. The Japanese crowd getting into it here, Dre. Yes, they, good shot right there. In a way, gives the crowd a lot to get excited about. And this is a crowd that is typically respectful and very quiet, but it's hard to stay quiet when you see the explosive shots of Inoue land clean like the right hand just landed. You see the jabs in the way from there with the counter right, and now a left hook from Inoue. This fight can change with one punch at any moment. You won't want to blink because they both have dynamite in their punches. You see that left from Inoue. So far, no reaction from either fighter from the big shots that they've taken in this first round, which is impressive because the fighters are still warming up. I left hook there from... He's hurt right now, Bernardo. The bell was his greatest ally. The first time he's dropped by a headshot by Naoya in the way he was dropped by a body shot in the 11th round of their first fight. What a start for Naoya in the way, Dre. Everything in a way was winning that round, and nothing crazy had happened until it did. A quick right hand to the temple of Nanito, and it sat him right on his butt. He didn't know how he got there. He just realized that he was on the canvas, and that's the type of explosive power that we've been promoting this fight with. They both possess it, but in a ways is a little bit different than we saw it on full display in that first round. And now it comes time to see how each fighter reacts. Naoya Inoue is calm. And for Nonuto Donaire, he's receiving instructions from his wife and trainer, Rachel Donaire. And I'm sure this was not part of the game plan. And the only positive, Dre, is there's a lot of time to make it up. You don't have to make it all up right now. Right. And the good thing for Donaire is he has great recuperative powers. Somehow, some way, he's able to keep those big shots and keep on coming, but he can't take too many more of those. Now it's Donaire landing that vaunted left hook. You see that right hand from Naoya Inoue. Inoue, you have to pick your poison. Now it's a left hook that rattles Nonito Donaire. It's devastating power, and the legs of Donaire are not all there. And Inoue taking advantage of the moment as Donaire tries to go downstairs. And Donaire needs to get himself together before he tries to load up, but that's not in his nature. He wants to draw Inoue in, even though he's hurt, to try to land his own big shots. You see another vicious left hook from the monster, Naoya Inoue. Body shot from the monster. Looks like Donaire has made up his mind he's gonna fight fire with fire, and that's just the way it is, for better or for Impressive knockout victory for the monster. Wow. Naoya Inoue, a statement victory in his home country of Japan. And wow, wow, and wow is all I can say about the monster as he does it at home. He never gave Denea an opportunity to get into this fight. He was poised, he was calm and calculated in the big right hand that landed at the end of the first round, started all the trouble for Nanito Denea. He was never able to recover because in a way, it's so efficient with his punches. He doesn't waste anything. He rarely opens himself up to be caught himself. Denea tried to land the shots, but the explosiveness and the power proved to be too much.
We talked about in the way having to be more defensively responsible for this rematch because of the damage he took in the first fight, Dre. And you mentioned that you expected a better version of.